Okay. The missiles are very light. Just give me one moment. We'll be starting soon. Just got to make sure things are going good. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> okay. The stream has sound. Um, I'll make sure it has the games. What are you streaming from? Oh, shoot! <laughs> huh? Where are you streaming from? OBS. And Twitch. Into the Yoshi one. Into <laughs> the Yoshi one. Okay, I can already see that it it has sound, so it's all good. <laughs> All right, English. Would you like to start the game in the chosen language? Yes. <laughs> Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Professor Rowan, the guy that I found to be like the strictest professor. My name is Rowan, and she is you want to go up on the couch? Happy? Don't look at me like that. There's a cord right there. Good night. Everyone just calls me the fuck up home, Professor. This world is wildly inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I probably missed a line there. My tracks! We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. Friends. Oh, I'm to rearrange myself here. <laughs> ah! It's under my leg! No! You <laughs> can't have cords under my leg. That's not good. And that your head is kind of in the way. Are you literally blocking Ginger from getting on the couch? You are a jerk. <laughs> we can visit alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop close bonds with them. <laughs> wow, nice message. Um person doing messages and the chat is my husband who is sitting right next to me. <laughs> he also got diamond. I am going to also uh, give him my pearl copy if he wants to ever play it. It is our pearl copy. My pearl copy. But we both got a copy of diamond. Come on, Gigi. Up on couch. Are you scared of the wire? Of the cord? Oh my goodness. Midnight, move your head. This dog. For those who can see the little black mass here, this is Midnight. He's my puppy. He's not even a year old yet, and he's fucking huge. And the one that I've been trying to get on the couch is Ginger, our uh, rescue. She just got brought home after midnight had too much of the vent. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm pretty sure everyone else can apply what happened. But she's back home now. Which I'm happy for. I love Gigi. She's so cute. 
Uh, what do I do? I accidentally hit a button. <laughs> Can, can I get you to move, please, baby girl? Uh, he's already on uh, Rourke, the gym leader. After the many struggles that we had trading Pokemon. Um, one thing to keep in mind if you're planning on trading Pokemon right away after you open the game, in order to get all three starters, make sure your game is fully updated. Or else you're going to get really irritated very quickly. Gigi, come on! Come on. Come on. I'm holding up the board for you. <laughs> Every time I do that, she looks at me so confused. I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Come on to show me a little bit about yourself. Choose a photo from the lineup. Not are you a boy or a girl. Choose a photo. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the basic. The basic model of the Pokemon trainers. Not blonde. <laughs> and go with my Sona name. Your name is Seven. Yes. What? Oh no, I pressed B. Ginger, you're touching the teeth. Please. She wants to get up on the couch so badly. But the cord is right there. And so she doesn't want to cross it. Okay, so you're seven. A fine name that is. It's literally a number. <laughs> this is your that is boy here. I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Don't just say that we are friends. Just because we live in the same town and we're the only one and we just interact with each other. Do not assume. I'll tell you. My husband's watching, and this is the name that he typically goes with. You are my rival. Alright, Seven, the time has come. The very own tale of Grand Adventures about John Bull. You should have seen the smile that was on his face when I typed in that name. He's trying to hide it from me now. On your journey, you'll meet countless po uh, Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. You will discover that you indeed are a Pokemon. <laughs> She's over there now! My baby girl! I have a frosty here that's like almost completely bald. I got a tiny spoon. I mean, look how cute it is. It's so small. It's supposed to be like one of those sampling spoons that my husband would want me to get, but he's not here to the store alone. So remember, your hand is so small that it looks like. I hate you! I don't need a spoon anymore for this, by the way. I really don't. I can just drink this, it's so melted. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. You might also want to put your phone on the charger, which takes up a lot of your phone battery. Despite the exploration games, most of the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded section, the rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly. The press volunteer, they need to remake Soul Silver and Purple 
into the style. I honestly love it. I've already started uh, playing a different game just for fun. I started out that game, I started out for the church pick that I named Cabbage. And so cute. I was having a beater named Chocolate, a Starly named Maximum, and a Shanks named uh, Sparkler. <laughs> That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Julie Live TV on national uh, nationwide net. I have literally just drinking pure chocolate. I'm honestly pissed off because it's about the only thing I've had for dinner other than like a small burger that my husband gave me. Because we ordered food. Or I ordered a taco salad, they sent me a cup of chili. And now it's so fish. We did get a refund for my food, at least. But still. The TV is turned off, and I just want to talk about look how freaking cute I am. That's so cute. And if you haven't looked at the floor yet, look at the floor, you see your reflection really makes you wonder how long they clean these floors in order to make sure that you can see your reflection. Is it, is it lagging at all? Is it sometimes jumpy? Okay. It's about 30 seconds behind. I don't know, that, like sometimes when you're, because this is just plain old laptop, it'll kind of go. Yeah, It'll kind of stuff fine right now. Okay. I'll trust my husband's wired. So, if it's jumpy, I'd all blame him. <laughs> uh, people have other Pokemon, Pokemon trainers, yada yada. Switch! <laughs> See, now this is just a mess. You're supposed to have this in the dock when you're not using it so that it charges. <laughs> Back to bed. Oh my god! I didn't do this when I was first beginning. You can actually go back to sleep. I wonder if you could do that to other people's beds. I have to test that out. <laughs> that is so cute. Wake up. I would just go into bed with your bag fully clothed <laughs> and with your shoes on. With a scarf. <laughs> Seven, like he came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. He tends to overreact that way sometimes. <laughs> also, he, he kind of eats, I think he just eats only sugar. He, he's crazy. Hello, mother. You know how impatient like A it is. Who took off before I could even ask what it was about? Here we are, it's the Contest Digest! Sorry, the show today's normal rank cleverness contest is... Wesley. Wesley. The one who's with his particularly well groomed Pokemon. That's all the time we have today. Let's meet again. Prepare to search the fridge. Spotless. You can- yeah, you really can. That was like one of the comments on the first game. It's like, oh, you can see your face on the floor? Well, if it was not just pixels, you probably could, but now you actually can. <laughs> That's amazing. Fine. I'm on the gym floor. I don't want to keep looking over there. I want the toaster. So yes, seven, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. Hello, it's been a oh, long time to see how it's been. It's been good. We've been dealing with a lot of stuff, but I'm good to be I'm glad to be back. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so. Yeah. 
have the process where we talk to everyone and search everyone's trash cans. <laughs> Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. <laughs> God, there's always this one technology guy in every Pokemon game. Did you hear? The Pokemon professor returned to the next town over. They can say he's been gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Yes, and listen, Seven, I want a cute Pokemon. This is Helena bringing you on the spot weather. Here in Route 213, it's nothing but blue skies. It'd be a shame to spend a day like this cooped up indoors. Why not step outside and bask under the sun? Why not amuse yourself with a solo whistling performance? Gigi, can, can you I can help you get on the couch! <laughs> You're just giving me a look that's making me feel guilty. <laughs> It's all the weather brought to you by Helena. It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes. Our Pokemon also let you become friends with them. I honestly love the art style of this game. It's so cute. It's like the little chibi sprites. Like, I, I love Sword and Shield, too, with the art style, but I don't know, it's just the nostalgia with the cheap. That's what I'm You're off to hang with Lacan again, right? You two sure are tight. Good job! I'm gonna hold up for you. Come on! Come on, baby girl! She's standing in front of the TV. My dog's having a bit of a problem. She's not as bold as Midnight is, so she's just kind of like, <laughs> every time I lift up the cord in order to let her jump onto the couch, she kind of freezes and backs up. <laughs> Hey, how y'all doing, Pokemon fans? Thanks for tuning in to the Matchup channel. Hey, fans, you've all used fairy-type moves, right? This was bef- <laughs> Oh my god, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum came before fairy-types. Ah! They're, like, not much better than okay against Ice-type Pokemon. They're- They're playing like other Ace Trainers are playing next to me. <laughs> oh god. She doesn't know. She's scared about the cord. <laughs> That's all for today, but don't forget to send me fan mail. Yep. Give it to your bird Pokemon and then set them free into the skies. A chance encounter with a greatness that to me is always possible. See you again. Yeah, Midnight has no problem with jumping over and climbing up to sit behind me. Ginger, however, she's a lot more timid. It was mainly because of the cord that's right there. Next time she goes by one, I'll drop the computer down, I'll let you will. Alright, computer's gonna shift a bit. Go away. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm trying to get my dog up here, so we're just gonna take a pause. <laughs> Ow. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Girl, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yep. She is just adorable. All right, let's go out to the wild. <laughs> Hi, so like I was looking for you. I think you saw him now. Why don't you go check it out? No. I want to go out and do the tall grass. <laughs> what was that about? Okay, Seven. Twitch News gave you a notification that Twitch Plays Pokemon is playing Paper Mario. That doesn't seem like Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, wait, you should come too, and be quick about it! Okay, Seven, I'm finding you one million Poké Dollars if you're late again. Or, I uh, again, if you're late. Oh, jeez, forgot something! Yes. Breathing. Hi, Seven. Did you come calling on like Han? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. You just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who who he takes after. Clearly not you. You're rather calm. For the better treatment of Pokemon, the trainer school. Hello. Are these all cups of coffee? that he most likely drank? That would explain so much. <laughs> like, did you notice, like, when you were playing that there were coffee cups here? There's three? What if he drank, like, three cups of coffee and that's why he's so hyper? We've had hyper using the coffee flow of... Coffee. You don't know if you don't like an IV drip. I better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh, you got a badge. Oh, hey, Seven. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Poké Dollar fun if you're late. Out of my way! <laughs> now let's start testing the bed thing. No! Won't well, let me sleep at the bed! Dang it! <laughs> bye! Oh, bye, like I am, Mom. I'm gonna trudge out of your house. You saw the news report that it was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance, and the furious Pokemon and the like. That's, that show got me thinking. I bet a local league has Pokemon that like that and that too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we'll go and find a Pokemon like that. Why? Yeah, but. I just love how we just go along with it, just like, yep, we're gonna go do that. We don't have any Pokemon to defend yourself against wild Pokemon. We're just kind of phasing very quickly in and out of each other. <laughs> it's a little weird. Oh, 
All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. There is no guarantee we're gonna find that. <laughs> What's going on? You can still hear me fine, right? Okay. I say there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but not red Gyarados, why they? <laughs> Fine, that's enough that we have seen the lake. We'll guess we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Hmm. There's one thing I can say. There are many kinds of rare Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. I come boy! Excuse me, let us pass, please. Sorry, folks. What was that about? Those two. Huh? Someone, let's go check it out. What's that? Don't go into, tall gra into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there for long enough for a <laughs> in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. It's a, a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? You can try to return it, but who are they? I heard them say, Professor, who are you chasing? <laughs> ah! Pokemon! What's going on? These are Pokeballs! Let's battle using Pokemon in them! Which one do you want then? Turn Twig. The Tiny League Pokemon. Chimp Jar. The Chimp Pokemon. No. We want Hiplop. The Penguin Pokemon. Pokemon Platinum was actually the first game I played, and I remember how much how difficult I had it. Going against Gardenia and Cynthia. Oh my god, Cynthia. <laughs> like, I didn't have the knowledge that I had I have now. So I was just like, I'm gonna brute force it. <laughs> Wow, your food got totally wrong. But my turd twig was way tougher than yours. There are other people's folk. They were other people's folk, but... Hey, you're just saying, you're training Geo, dude! You make sure to take the stone off, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're getting a Psyduck. <laughs> well, we had to use them. Most people won't mind, will they? I'm dead. <laughs> Whew, you found the briefcase? I would have gone through the roof if he, had known, if he knew I forgot it here. Huh? What? Did you guys- did you guys use these Pokémon? Oh man, how am I gonna explain this to Professor? This is the Professor's briefcase, so I'll take it, okay? What was that about? Going on seven. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You go ahead. I know we have to return go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I wanna spend just a little more time with this little guy. 
I never said we had to return them. <gasps> it's a female! That's rare! No less than 13% chance of getting one. That's the second time I've got a female starter. The first time was I think of like one of my Pokemon Black and White games where I got a female Tepig. <laughs> That's rocks! Probably. So my friend got me to buy this game called Generation 2 and it's an amazing game. Never heard of it. <laughs> Hey, it's those people! Or, hey, it's those people! Is that old guy staring at us? <laughs> I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hip-hop and Turtwig. I see, that's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my life! <laughs> I, I honestly don't know why, but I always found Professor Rowan a bit scary in the games. Uh, yeah, of course, Professor, wait for me! You should visit us at our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing you. But it's a female Piplup! That's awesome! What was all that crazy craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us. Or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? So anyway, we should go home too. <laughs> Let's continue to keep these Pokemon with us. <laughs> Geodude for Geodude. He likes to do it. My husband likes to do a bunch of random trades. And sometimes, like, they'll end up getting the same Pokemon. What's up, dear? My mom, I got this. Except this one's not a mystery one. Oh. Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and my can are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely the Professor Rowan of Sandjo Town. He's a bit scary. <laughs> I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I also hear he's quite a seven. I wasn't off! <laughs> Yeah, fun thing, when I was playing this earlier for the different um, save file, I didn't fully read all of the conversations. <laughs> so I completely missed the intimidating part. Summon, I think you need to visit the sound jet town and return the Pokemon. No. <laughs> you probably explain why you had no choice but to use this Pokemon. But it's mine now! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know seven. Put these on. I received a pair of running shoes. I find it amazing you can't run until you get these specific shoes. Going to San Gen Town is like an adventure it's in itself, right? No. With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash right past dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? My dog's laying here sleeping with her leg over her nose and it's very cute. I'm running! Through the wilderness! Alright, stop to everyone. Everyone! Oh, Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They come out. They can come out bursting at any time. So if you're wanting to battle a wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. If Pokemon's health, its HP is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Wild encounter is a bee do. Okay, 
different. Now it's just like a different name for this ship. Ah! I think I got a perfect name for it now, though. Because I was actually going to name the Piplum Emperor for Emperor Penguin. Because of Empoleon, but it's a female. But I'm not going to name Empress because I thought of a better name. Hi, I work at Funko Mart. Did you know that Pokemon's health is measured by its hit points, HP for short? Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints, it can't battle anymore. If Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you some potions and assemble. These ones are free. They'll automatically go in your bags, your medicine pocket. You obtain potions. The potions in the bag. Encounter another Pokemon. That much off is just staring at you. But anyway, as I was saying with Cynthia, I thought I could just brute force my way through. And then I couldn't beat her. And every time I did that, I have to go through all the Elite Four again because I did not save before any of them. So. <laughs> At one point, I had this brilliant idea. I learned that dragon types are weak against ice moves. So I taught a tentacle, a level 24 tentacle, how to use ice beam and went into the lake four again. You can imagine how well that went. I was just like, yep, I got this tentacle that knows ice beam going against the over level 50 guard channel. Generation Zero is a looter shooter of one world where you fight survival machines that killed off an entire island in Sweden, I believe, in 1989. That sounds cool. I'm just uh, not good at shooter games, so that's probably not the type of game for me. Brother? Yeah, Dylan, yeah. Me, a little bit. Yeah. But me, die instantly. Oh, you won again! Why Yay! Did I give him a red X, honestly. Oh. Because yeah. he's a monkey. That ledge is one way. He starts off as a chimp, then he turns into a baboon. Just down for a shortcut, Twin Leaf Town. Hi! <laughs> then he turns into a. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Chimp. Please come with me, the professor is waiting to see you. See, this is our Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go ahead and. Boom. What the? Oh, it's you, Seven. The old guy. He's not scary in so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Seven. I'm out of here. See you later. What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Finally, you've come. Seven, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give you that pip. I'll give that pip up to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. Now. Feel free to guess what I'm going to nickname my pip up before I do. I will give you a moment. What do you think of the name? And no, it's not going to be food-based before you think that. He shrugged. Ow. I should probably look up how to actually spell this before I... Right. Or 
Bermuda. I, I see bird. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of Bermuda, like the Bermuda Triangle. Okay, I see. And you're happy with that next nickname. Yes. Your friend like I told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being our first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. And that's why I would like to entrust you with that Pokemon. Am I ever glad that you're the kind toward Pokemon? I was apparently having a seizure when reading that. <laughs> Because I could not understand a word I was saying. Yeah, that's like normal. If you weren't, well, I don't even want to think about it. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. You should say no. Exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure, I guess. <laughs> what answer? I honestly would not have taken no for an answer. You have to do this. That Pokedex is a very high tech device. I'll automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Seven. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I with a Pokemon. I should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Home. Seven. Your grand adventure begins right now. The person asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades, working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? Yeah, bye! Go on, Seven. Your grand adventure awaits you. First, I look through your house. I'm Lucas's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. Huh? And I'm sure we can count on you. You didn't seem very confident there. Professor Rowan invited a new Pokedex. Inventing a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Gamble region. Ah, uh, hello, Lucas. Hey, Seven, I want to show you a few things. So follow me. This building with a red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find the Pokemon Center in most towns. Up here, the building with a blue roof is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy it and sell all sorts of items. Seven, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy them very much, so. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh yeah, right, Seven. You should let your family know you're helping Mr. Rowan put together his Pokedex. You may have to travel pretty far. You should let someone know. Oh, but first, heal up your Pokemon at Pokemon Center. You'll be safe. You'll be safe, then. Okay, be seeing you. I 
kind of funny how you can already buy Pokeballs. Come here, Bow. Pokemon are so cool, I wish I had some. You can help yours get stronger by having a battle. So I don't forget what's happened till now, I better save this. There, now I can take a break. Same damn town, town of sand. <laughs> Strawberry, green cheese, bagel, bar. Yeah, those are actually good. Who are you? Oh, you're seven? You're doing that Pokedex thingy for the professor? Wow, this is the same as my big brother. Go for it. Ah, so that Rowan fellow is back. It's quite the remarkable man. He's been studying Pokemon since way, way back. My son and grandchild help Rowan in his studies now. <laughs> The Pokemon Research Corner. Today we'll examine a wild Pokemon live in the field. Ah, here we go! A wild Drapion conveniently just came along. Oh, it's holding something. Let's roll up on let's roll on up and take a look. Hi there, can I take a look? Yeah! Ouch! It scratched my finger! But okay. We know that wild Drapion have the possibility of holding a poison barb. I feel like we should be concerned for that reporter. Thank you, Drapion. Here's your poison. Er, Drapion. Here's your poison bar back. Ah! Ah! Scratch me again! As usual, I got a Pokemon riled up, <laughs> riled up at me. It's time for me to go. So, <laughs> so long. <laughs> I feel like we should be a little concerned. The rash can is empty. Alright, I read the rules. Nah! Oh. Lucas's house. The thing you have, it's a Pokedex, isn't it? Now you're off to see all kinds of Pokemon. Lucky you! Okay. Pokemon goes surely from uh Sally's stronger from battling against other Pokemon. At first you should heal your Pokemon regularly at Pokemon Setters while you're leveling them up. Yeah, don't well, let your Pokemon faint because that means you're a bad trainer. <laughs> That's especially the case of Nuzlocks. bother talking to the people in the Pokemon Center for this town because all they do is just give the basic advice. Steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Yes.
I shall leave it a cookie. Mainly because I already named my other beauty of chocolate. <laughs> you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Seven. I've got something that you'll find useful. A guidebook. Not a town map, a guidebook. I guess you have to do you're not alone. You have a Pokemon with you. I wish I could go in your stead. My dog is here. And my, my cat's on my leg, and my other dog is right over there. I am surrounded by animals. You can always throw the turtle on your head. No. <laughs> that turtle hates everyone. <laughs> I'm just joking, Seven. Uh, I'll be alright by myself, dear. See you come on and enjoy your adventure. And you're exposed to new things and it. If it experiences new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. Please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught, dear. Excuse me, is my little Ike in here? <laughs> oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have already left already to do. That boy shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. So headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, someone will deliver that to him. I never agreed to this. <laughs> Watch you, Seven. I oh, really, you do that for me? I never said yes! Seven, please take this to Leke in for me. Bye bye, Seven. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think, knowing my boy, he would probably be heading straight to, to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my leg hand. Oh, Seven, you're forgetting something important. My hat, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yes, that hat always did suit you well, Seven. Off to go. I know you can still get a Starly here. Yep, there it is. It almost like this be my first male Pokemon. I was actually a little worried there that if it was printed, um, then I wouldn't be able to catch it. They flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. Yes. Void. Void the Starly. Well, 
Jovi. Sorry, they teach you the basics of how to catch a Pokemon, despite the fact you've already caught two. I forget, do we ever actually fight Lucas in this game? I don't think you ever actually fought Professor Rowan's assistant. Like to find out for you. And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have lowered the target's HP a little some more. Yep, the important thing is to lower the target's HP, or lower the Pokemon's HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. I have my actual drink down here. Oh, yeah, that'll also get easier to catch if you make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep. Or such. Here's something, I'll give you some Pokeballs to, to get you started. I already fought some. <laughs> but thank you. You have lots of Pokemon, but then you'll be a, able to travel farther. That way you'll have a better shot at meeting more Pokemon. See you around. I think we can catch a Shinx here. Yep, Shinx. <laughs> I actually caught it earlier on. In the first part. Yeah, we can get it in the first part now. Seven, yay! And Cookie is level three. All of its fur dazzles with dangerous sense. It flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. Gonna go play with friends. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good night too. Yes. For 
mute. Are you okay? I'm like a seal. Pokemon trainer. I have an idiot Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so we must so battle we must. I'm Sir Tristan.
I'm always wondering why I named the Starly Void. I don't know. I just thought it sounded cool. Let's have a Pokemon battle. But I'm gonna win. Here in the morning and suddenly come out at night. I'm gonna keep waiting right here until I've seen every last one of them. My cat just left me. Now my now my leg is cold. Needs is getting comfortable back here. Oh hi Lucas. Hey Seven, how many Pokemon have you got? Well, you've already you already have four Pokemon in you. Life City, it's there's a the trainer school. Check it out, Seven. Oh, yeah, like I went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, see you around. Work hard on your pocket deck. Jubilee City, City of Joy. See, now we're, it's where I started out actually talking to everyone. I'm not gonna say it. I don't know if I'm gonna say anything or not. <laughs> well, there, trainer. If you get stuff to know what to do, talk to people. Talk to everyone you see. Go places. Go wherever you can. Check all of the trash cans. You'll find many new places just by, do by doing just that. Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures. By the trainers, it seems the only thing that matters is battling, says the ace trainer. Did you know? Some kinds of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battling. When they evolve, they take on completely different appearances. Evolution makes Pokemon just that much more fascinating. Each other. This guy tells you about the Pokemon Trainer School. I'm gonna go heal. Trainer school, you find your rival, but there's also these two here that want to battle. I got that good old Joy Con kind of Drift.
so fast. Frickin' Peplum! the other Abra. <laughs> Hopefully this one is not as fast as frickin' Harrison was. <coughs> Just in case, I'm going to switch Bermuda with uh, Sparks. Is faster? No, well, seems to be a little bit more powerful. Like that one killed me the first time. Of course, they did battle them back to back. So. Think that charge B was weak against electric types. Told you. Hi, friends. I grabbed the technical machine from the kid. Sparks was one level higher, or else she would have defeated him. You did good, Sparks. Now back to the light up you go.
like this town map a lot, but I don't need to. Where did, did you get that from a train? No, the old man. Where? What Route town? Four. A oh, Route Four. Okay. I have to remember that. We gotta get the Jirachi. Right before Route Five. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer. And a Pokemon jet. Pokemon just our Pokemon watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented a now manufacturer. Pokeches. Not only that, I am now conducting the Pokeches pro promotional, pro promotional campaign. All I have to do is find three clones in your life. If you can find them, I'll give you very own Pokech for free. Catch before I go into that building.
Where'd you come from? I'm getting interviewed. Say my drink. Nope. Hey, one more level than my hurt wing. Sing it, old lady. Go. Isn't my Pokemon so fetching?
is. There's like I am. Hey, Seven. Tell me you got a little tougher. Me to you even need to ask. Of course I got tougher. <laughs> Come on, let's battle it out. of the game the uh, arrival. Ah, oh, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. And I've got to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Gorbert Gym, Gorbert City Pokemon Gym. I'm tough enough for that. Totally.
Yeah, I got a loot box.
believe I ever freaking Jirachi. Why is that so hard to believe? Are they good? There's a legendary Pokemon! It is? Yeah! I didn't know that! Obviously! about him, you just ignored me. No. Yeah, it's like, hey, this old man gave me some weird Pokemon. Oh, I didn't hear you, actually. <laughs> I don't remember you ever saying I showed you the old man. I go into the cave, I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon. Okay there, you've got a pocket. You're still afraid of your trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon, so I'm gonna make a gift of these technical machines to you. Oh, nice of him. Each of these TMs contains the move Rock Smash. FYI. Use a technical machine to, your, to teach your Pokemon a move, that TM will then work. So think very carefully about when to use it. 
Also, add a new feature to your pocket, Wookie Trainer. It's the Hidden Moves app. Use Rock Smash from your Pokech and a wild Pokemon will get rid of those boulders from on your path. Oh! But to use the same moving field, you'll first need to use uh, like the gym badge from Arbor City. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth. Celebrate by getting through this cave by walking a straight line. I'm gonna battle you. Where the town's Pokemon gym is, you fucking noob. It's right here where your friend is. Oh, there's someone here and there.
Cheryl! I just said, gonna go ahead and end the stream there. I hope everyone enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed getting back into these types of games. And it brings back a lot of nostalgia. And I hope, like, I hope that's the way everyone knows too. I honestly just, like I said, my first game with Platinum. I love playing it. So now seeing these remakes is great. And okay. thanks for coming by those who did. And I'll see you guys next time, so bye-bye for now.